What is up Tadpoles and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be talking about my, um, I don't know how to say this I guess, my series 8 impressions, my series 9 expectations I guess, of, of what, uh, what will come in the new format. Obviously we played the format before in series 7, but after series 8 and seeing the development of the meta, uh, a lot of things have changed, like the first thing that I want to talk about, which is uh, Max Alecki. Now a lot of people have been experimenting with uh, physical Alecki, with special Alecki, with support Alecki, with offensive Alecki, but I think that offensive Alecki is going to rise in usage just because it, it does so much damage, unless you have ground type obviously. <laughs> but uh, yeah, other than that, there are a few mods that get Volt Absorb, but they're not even used, like Tornadus Theory, and who uses that? Anyway, but uh, Max Alecki, it does a stupid amount of damage with the Magnet. You could also use it with Sash, you could use it with Light Clay, but obviously if you're running Offensive, you probably want to run it with the Magnet or the Life Orb. Magnet is probably better just because you don't really need that boost um, on uh, and losing your HP. It's not that much of a difference. 1.2 as opposed to 1.3, and use, losing one-tenth of your health is not that much of a... It's a pretty big drawback for 0.1%. Anyway, Rising Voltage Electro Web, Hyper Beam Protect is probably what you're going to want to run on this thing. Maxing it, doing a stupid amount of damage. Rising Voltage is actually 140 base power max move, so it does a stupid amount of damage. And I think a lot of people have it will be using it in Series 9 just to uh, counter things like Tapu Fini. Even Rillaboom, which is this, can, does not take a max Rising Voltage well. Even, and Rising Voltage itself, after you, you use Max Lightning, you obviously set up the electric terrain for yourself, and therefore you can't be slept by Venusaur. And uh, so you could EV Reggie Lucky to outspeed Venusaur and Sun, and then uh, Rising Voltage first, so you could protect your whole team from sleep powders. So that's really nice. Next thing I want to talk about is Sand, and I think Sand is super underexplored. Super underexplored. Obviously, you have Tyranitar Gigalith. I think Gigalith is probably better because it underspeeds Glacier and Trick Room. And it can run a weakness policy pretty um, pretty reliably. And obviously you could use it in and out of Trick Room. Uh, but what's nice about Dracovish is that it gets the ability Sandrush now. And well, it did. And you could use Ficious Rent to scare off things like Incineroar or like uh, Landorus, which want to intimidate the uh, Sand Setter, whether it be Tyranitar or uh, Gigalith. Also gets moves like Crunch for Spectre. You can also max this thing, which I have used to great success. Uh, it gets Psychic Fangs also for screens if you really want to use that. And then you could use Outrage if you want to max it, use it as a max target or not. Or you could use Protect. Um, preferably, I use Choice Band, though you could even use Choice Scarf and like and use uh, and use Strong Jump. But I'm talking about Sand here, so we're just gonna go with Sand Rush. You can use Life Orb also. I don't recommend it as much. And then, and then obviously you could protect because you're not choice locked. But what's probably the best is Mystic Water, just like Kyogre runs Mystic Water. Uh, so does Dracovish for that Fish's Ren boost. It's probably your best bet. But uh, you can outspeed things in Sand, and you don't even have to run a uh, Jolly Nature necessarily. So you could put like like this and then something like that, and you could run an Adamant Nature with a Choice Band or something like that, or even Mystic Water. I think it would be really, really good. Draco Zolt, uh, also the same thing. Uh, though it, having Bolt Beak is kind of less useful because Reggie Lucky is so prevalent and it's a quote unquote better electric type compared to Draco Zolt. Now, Draco Zolt obviously gets walled kind of by Landorus. You can run, um, it does get max airstream, which is really nice with, uh, what is it? Here, flying. It does get, yeah, aerial ace is what I wanted to say. It also gets, uh, <coughs> excuse me. A lot of good dragon type moves, dragon claw, and you can use hustle, but obviously we're talking about sand rush, so yeah. Next thing I want to talk about is weather ball Venusaur. Now, I predicted that weather ball Venusaur would be a thing, so I was right and you were wrong, whatever, in the comments below we can argue about it. I think weather ball will be used a little bit more. It's not, I don't think it, it's as good in series 9 just because there, there aren't a, a lot of steel types. I mean, there still are, like Metagross and stuff. So it's good. It's good. It's a uh, it's good for the Metagross matchup, Ven uh, Venusaur having Weather Ball. But usually it's going to be around with Torkoal by its side anyway. So therefore, they're probably going to want to target the Torkoal if they're afraid of fire moves. But Venusaur having that Weather Ball can be useful, and I think it might rise in usage. Sludge Bomb is good, just because it hits fairies, and Earth Power is always good. Max Quake is great, 
and then obviously you want GMX Vine Lair, so that's always going to be on a Venusaur. But it just makes Venusaur, Weather Ball just makes Venusaur more unpredictable, and I think it might rise in usage just because um, it's good against things like Rillaboom. Uh, next up we got AV slash support Thunderous, and I think Thunderous can be really really useful when it has the, the Prankster ability. We saw that in as series 8 progressed, a lot of people started using Assault Vest uh, offensive um, physical uh, Thunderous with Wild Charge Fly, Lash Out Superpower, Iron Tail, things like that, even Volt Switch I've seen. But I think that uh, Prankster can also be used because it gets moves like Thunder Wave, like Eerie Impulse, like Leer, like Taunt. And then you could just run Thunderbolt for uh, damage. I think this this is a very good move, very good way to throw off your opponents if you want to, actually, like in in a best of one situation, which is what most of us are playing right now. So yeah, and it has a higher special attack, so you can make use of that uh, with a focus sash with a I don't know Charity Berry, Yachty Berry, probably better with a focus sash just because it is pretty frail if you don't if you're not Dynamaxing it. But yeah. Last thing I want to talk about actually is Sucker Punch on Grimstyle. Now, Grimstyle actually has base 120 attack, so it's nothing to scoff at. And usually people just run it with Spirit Break and Trick or um, Screens, most of the time Screens. And also gets Thunder Wave. Trick like uh, Eerie, you could Trick Lagging Tail or Full Incense onto it. But I think um, things that people overlook is that it gets Sucker Punch. And since Grimstyle is so slow, and when you don't use your, your Prankster moves, I think Sucker Punch is really, really good just because it has stab and it has 120 base attack. So it'll actually be doing a lot of damage to things like Spectre, to things like Regieleki, which are really fast, to things like Venusaur, to things like uh, Thunderous, to things like Dragapult even. And then another move I think that people will uh, start using more on Grip Style is Fake Out. Just because Fake Out is so, so good in this metagame. Fake Out Venusaur for in, in case they sleep powder. You could Fake Out. Um, Tabofini, you can fake out, like you can fake out Reggie, like he, all the fast mods, you can fake out, um, I don't know, <laughs> a lot of fast mods, you can fake out Rillaboom, even, I mean, I doubt you would outspeed Rillaboom, but still, turn, when you switch in Grimstyle, having fake out is, is really, really good, so, yeah, it's kind of just wanted to discuss what I think is going to happen in the Series 9 meta game. so, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe if you do. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.